Hi, and welcome to Prepping Essentials. Good morning, it's uh, 7.15 on Saturday the 19th of September, just making my way down to the land. As always, we'll be making it up as we go along, so let's find out what we get to. Well, here we are down on the land. A little bit of a misty damp morning this morning but behind those trees I think the sun is trying to make an appearance still a little bit early of course for it to be out over the trees grass is looking very nice <laughs> well trimmed no sign of uh, little Bambi I've popped down a few times during the week to uh, just check up and to water the plants in the polytunnel. Not seen any sign at all. Plenty of sign of <laughs> rabbits and plenty of sign of crows, especially on the CCTV camera. They love that camera for some reason, every single day. Um, I don't know whether they're trying to kiss it or kill it, <laughs> but, but they're there all the time. Anyway, I'll get myself opened up. Don't think we'll need the fire on this morning, but I guess we'll find out when I get in there. And I'll get a cup of coffee on the go, and we'll do the, the usual little tour of how the garden and polytunnel are looking. So I'll catch up with you in a short while. Well, <clears throat> as usual, polytunnel's open and we'll have a little quick walk around, see how things are doing. Little mixed bed of pumpkin and squash. It's still putting out flowers. I'm convinced that they're way too late. <laughs> we're, we're halfway through September already. Uh, they should be putting fruit out, not flowers. Uh, we have got a couple of smaller ones buried in amongst the undergrowth. Uh, still flowering there. Little baby one coming on there. And we've got the uh, the original first one still growing. Not huge, that has to be said. Uh, Jerusalem artichokes. Don't know what to say about them. I think they've got another couple of months before it's harvest time. Be interesting to see what does come out of there. I'm not expecting a great deal, to be honest. Raised beds. The new potatoes doing very well. Definitely going to have to bank these up and I'll do that today for sure. Uh, ones I lifted yesterday, yesterday, <laughs> last weekend and then these, I think these are going to have to get lifted. Um, you'll have seen in videos last week Something's been digging around in there. Um, I did get some footage on the CCTV and believe it or not, it is rabbits. <laughs> um, the footage is a bit dark. Uh, I'll see if I can dig it out and maybe throw it in the edit. Um, but it is rabbits for sure. There were loads of them running around this grass area in front of the cabin. Um, and there was one sat actually on that barrel, which is a bit bizarre to say the least. Beetroot doing well. You can see, I think you can see, they're starting to get some sizeable uh, beetroots growing there. Pumpkin. <laughs> uh, we're, we're still getting flowers. We've got flowers out and flowers, flowers coming. Uh, but disappointing the amount of actual fruit we've got this one <clears throat> round here which is very nice relatively unscathed I think there was one little nibble when I looked at them uh, last weekend there's another little one buried in here that's definitely been nibbled at another one round here 
which equally has been nibbled at. And then we've got one buried in here, which is the biggest one. Looking quite nice that now. Middle bed, garlic, doing well. They'll be cropped sometime next year. And the little couple of stray onions there. Squash. <laughs> Disappointing this. Despite the huge number of flowers it keeps throwing out, it just can't quite seem to bring itself to produce fruit. There's a little baby one down there. And all the rest are just flowers. Flowers, flowers, flowers everywhere. Uh, we have got one large one. I've forgotten where it is now. It's in here, I think. Yeah, there we go. Which has been nibbled at. But that is the only one, really. Unless some of those little baby ones put a spurt on because all the rest of this bed is just leaf and flower. And then finally... The carrots I put out last week into the bed, doing very nicely, putting on some quite decent growth now. I think I'll probably be lifting another one of these tubs because the ones I, uh, I pulled last week, I had the last of those for my dinner last night. So, oh, farmer's busy with his tractor. <laughs> I'll definitely be pulling one of those pots. I'll just pick one at random, the one that looks the scruffiest. Probably this end one here with all the brown leaves on. Uh, onions doing well. I don't think we'll be too long before I'm lifting some of those. Which will be interesting to see. So that's the raised bed. Nice and peaceful. Apart from the odd tractor. I might take a little walk around the boundary just to see what's happening, if there's anything new. And if I do see anything, I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you on the video as and when I find it. But now I'm gonna pop inside, get my cup of coffee and have a little think about what I wanna get done. Well, I put the kettle on <laughs> and realized we'd not been inside the polytunnel. <laughs> That's my haste wanting to get a cup of coffee down me. <laughs> uh, apologies for that. Um, <laughs> let's take a little look around. Uh, strawberries. I'm going to have loads and loads and loads of strawberry plants for next year. Um, assuming, of course, they survive the winter. Uh, blueberry bush. Still putting out new growth. Uh, it's done really well this year. Um, considering it was looking a little bit shabby when I first put it in, but now... Lots of strong growth. I think I probably need to tie it up a little bit more as well. Uh, peas. <laughs> I almost ripped them out and then all of a sudden they started having a bit of a new lease of life and putting out new growth. And as you can see, uh, they're putting out pea pods. In fact, they're putting out lots and lots of pea pods. I'm quite stunned <laughs> the amount of growth they've put on. Uh, because they are everywhere. New peas and new cucumbers come in. The baby blueberry bush turning into a big blueberry bush now. Lots and lots and lots of growth on those. And still not quite sure what to do with that cranberry. But uh, we'll see, I guess, in due course. The uh, tomato forest is still a tomato forest. It just keeps growing and growing and throwing out new flowers everywhere. Everywhere you look, we've got new flowers. Literally everywhere. I did pick uh, fruit off this. In fact, I've had quite a bit of fruit off this. And we've still got, lurking in the undergrowth, we've still got tomatoes in various stages there's quite a few there but uh sorry about that that are ready to pick so i'll be having some of those 
today. They are everywhere. You can see buried in amongst the undergrowth back there. There's quite a few. And there's still quite a few smaller green ones coming. I mean, to be fair, I did it. I did think I wasn't going to get anything at all because the insects weren't getting in to pollinate but it turned out that I have had uh, not a huge amount of fruit but uh, a fair amount I don't particularly eat many tomatoes because I don't really have salads tomatoes I do have uh, either with breakfast or in things like spaghetti bolognese or, or chilies um, so I'm not hugely disappointed that I haven't had a bumper crop because I probably just wouldn't have eaten them all um, but it's given me a bit of experience on what to do and what not to do with the tomatoes so it's all nice to have a, a bit of a learning experience as with everything I do really uh, the original strawberry plants are buried <laughs> underneath this tomato uh, they are still there um, and they've served me well because they've put out lots and lots of suckers, runners, whatever you want to call them, um, which has given me plants for next year. And then the fig, again, it has got some new growth, but uh, it is definitely slowing down, I can tell now. Um, as we come towards the end of the year, it's uh, slowing down. And we've got that one little fig just hiding there. Don't know when you pick those to be fair. I'll have to uh, investigate and see when you actually pick the fruit. <laughs> the fruit, there's one of them. <laughs> yeah, but one's better than none. Uh, these cauliflowers that I put in, uh, I think they will go out today into that raised bed. I'll have to uh, tidy that bed up and put them out and see what happens, whether they survive or they don't survive. Uh, we're not uh, due any frosts just yet but I think it is only a matter of time but it will be interesting to see what happens with those if they manage to go on to produce uh, the fruit and same with these younger ones so apologies for that I, uh, I almost forgot to show you <laughs> but there we are um, I'm topped up the uh, the water on me watering system which means I've got a can to fill um, so hopefully I can get that filled up whilst I'm waiting for the the kettle to boil and then I can sit and chill for five or ten minutes with a cup of coffee and we'll see what else we can achieve today it's a little bit cool this morning so we've just popped a little fire on very very quick to light these and very very simple really good piece of kit um, and it's portable you can take it anywhere you want it just folds up and into a bag oh, clearly I'm not going to do that now it's here permanently but if you were camping you could um, if I remember run I'll drop a link to where I got this from in the uh, description box I'm just having a quick look through the uh, trail cam footage while I'm having my coffee there's not a great deal on there to be honest I've only got a four clips that's that's worth watching. Mainly pigeons, <laughs> pigeons and crows. So not a great deal. That's the pigeon one. My friendly crows. <laughs> Skip that. Mr. Rabbit in the middle of the night. And I think this is some more pigeons, yeah. So not a great deal on there, but uh, as and when I get stuff, I'll share it with you. But I'm just going to finish this coffee off and uh, we'll get a bit of work done outside.
So the plan is today to uh, just tidy up the veg garden. I'll mound up these potatoes. I'm going to rake over this bed and put a bit of fertiliser on. I did pop some on a couple of weeks back, so it shouldn't be too bad to be fair. And hopefully we'll get uh, some of those cauliflowers planted out. Um, I'm probably going to empty that potato barrel and a bucket of carrots. Um, but right now I'm going to just pop in and grab some of these tomatoes out of the polytunnel and yeah there's quite a few buried down in amongst the foliage so I'm going to grab some of those and I don't think I can do that one-handed <laughs> I don't think oh I can get one maybe very nice and there are quite a lot of them. I'm not sure if that one... That could probably do with a couple more days. Just to redden up. Lots down here. Yeah, that one's definitely, definitely ready. So I'm going to grab a few more of those out of there. Um, I'll have to put the camera down to do that, but you'll see them later. Well, I've just had a little uh, top up of that raised bed. I uh, got all the way down to the bottom and then put some of this uh, organic compost on and then spread a load of new compost across the top. So this is actually looking quite nice now. It, uh, it should make a nice little area to put those 
new cauliflower seedlings in and we'll see how we get on um, <laughs> they'll grow or they won't grow I guess the danger here is the pesky rabbits might come and get them but we'll see okay so I've pulled the cauliflower seedlings out as I say I'm not quite sure how well these are going to uh, take but a bit of fighting chance the soil is a little bit wet in these plugs but I think I can get them out so we're just going to pop those in they're going to need a fairly decent water because this is bone dry in here I'll stick a few in this side and then I'll go around the other side but you get the gist of what I'm doing just pop my little plugs in try and get them so that they're just poking through the surface give them a chance to put some decent roots down and hopefully the rabbits will stay away <laughs> time will tell So there's the first few in, we'll see how we get on with those, I'll just plant the rest out and I'll keep you updated. Well that's the cauliflowers in and given the decent water just popped a couple of spare ones down there so we've got uh, three six nine twelve so we've got 14 in total there in amongst the beetroot which to be fair are coming on quite well there's some quite decent sized ones in there that's a particularly decent sized one so that's great done that also banked up these potatoes and given those a watering as well so next on the agenda and potatoes <laughs> and carrots right let's take a little look at these potatoes Well, I can already see <laughs> lots and lots of potatoes. There's a lot in here. I don't know if you can see or not, but they're coming out really clean. No scab or splits or anything high hopes for this barrel i think yep it's uh, 
try and get the soil back in as we do it. But they're still coming. They seem to be more at the middle of the barrel than the bottom. There's a bit of a rotten one there, we'll, uh, we'll not keep that. Put that in the woodland for the wildlife to have a go at. There's no shortage in the middle, certainly. Quite nice sized ones there. Come in. Big one there. And again. about a bumper harvest. Yeah, we've certainly certainly done well in this barrel. I was a little bit worried I have to say after seeing the last one but this is producing loads. about there. I don't think there's many more to come. Oh, there is the odd one or two still coming. But yeah, I think that's about it. Okay. That's what we've got, a real nice harvest. I'll get rid of all of this and then I'll give you a good look at what's come out. So that's what we've got and some decent sized potatoes there. Um, just having a quick tot up, there's about 60, maybe 65 in there. And I've got only two 
they've got a slight start of rot coming but it is only a slightly the rest are absolutely perfectly clean and as I say some fairly decent sized potatoes in there so that's what we've got out of there we'll take a little look I think and take a bucket of carrots out as well and see what we've got but really pleased with that uh, from that barrel that's certainly been the best barrel so far and I've got one <laughs> One hopefully left to come before Christmas. I, I am now tempted actually um, to stick some more in and just see what happens. Uh, you never know. They might keep growing right through to, to Christmas. But whatever. Definitely pleased with those. And can't wait for next year now. I'll need a few more barrels I think. Well, I just couldn't resist in this second bed filling the gaps in. <laughs> so there's another, what, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 20, 22. Another 23 have gone in this, uh, this second bed with the garlic. So I don't know, we'll see uh, what happens. And I didn't really want to waste any of the little tiny seedlings. <laughs> so I've just popped a few in this potato barrel as well. Um, not quite sure how they'll do. It is late in the season, but it's an experiment and I guess we'll find out soon enough. Right, let's take a little look at the carrots. Not as many as the last bucket, definitely, but uh, there's enough. A couple of baby ones. <laughs> Still coming. Yeah, definitely not as many as that last bucket. So then says 
So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16 and 2 tiny baby ones. I'll just get this tidied away and then you can have a good look. So that's the fruits of the labour in that bucket. And as you can see, there's some quite decent sized carrots there. Might be tempted to pull another one, you never know. <laughs> well, I couldn't resist pulling another one. <laughs> and it turns out there's about 20 carrots in each of those buckets. Some bigger than other, obviously. But uh, to be fair, can't uh, grumble about those as a crop and they'll certainly all eat so very happy with that very nice indeed well short but sweet day today that's the cabin locked up all my new planting done in the uh, raised beds we'll see how they get on over the next few weeks and months a little bit of harvesting done so <laughs> I've got a very full basket of uh, potatoes, carrots and a couple of tomatoes in there. All the tunnels all locked up, so it's uh, time to make my way back home. Another day. Very little quick update. I had to uh, finish early today to come back to the house because unfortunately the little parcel I was expecting needed signing for. Um, but the good news is it's here. And who knows what that is? <laughs> if you've watched my video from uh, the other week, you'll know that's the bit that was broken on the little red tractor. And I now know what it's called. It's called a bearing flange. And rather than just get one, um, I've got two. So there's a little job for me. Uh, taking out that broken one and uh, on both wheels put in a new one. So, although it was a bit of a pain having to run back for it, interrupted the day, it's well worth doing. So, I can do a proper repair now on the little red tractor. Well, that's it for this video. I hope there was something in there that was of interest to you. If you did like the video, please do click on the like button. Also, free, feel free to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. As always, welcome any comments, questions or suggestions you might have. How was the vegetable garden looking? Nice crop of carrots and potatoes there. And what about those new cauliflowers going in? Do you think they're going to survive through to uh, winter or not? Let me know in the comments section below. But for now, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.